Hello and welcome to another battle report. This one is uh, very short and it is from the uh, game for first place at a, a small tournament. Um, no, no GT here or anything like that. Uh, I don't have a shot of the list because it's uh, Fog of War so you'll see what he has as the game progresses. There's my deployment, two wave serpents and the Wraith Knight. Uh, it's Hammer and Anvil and he deployed two wave serpents and then the pieces of paper marked like which one is which so that he can tell what's in it. Uh, this is actually after the entire first game turn. Uh, he didn't move anywhere uh, and scored, uh, I think, one point. Um, for my part, I moved one flat out to score an objective there for two points, and uh, I scored another point for sitting on an objective that I was already on. Uh, so the entire first turn, there was no shooting whatsoever, and I was up uh, three to one at the end of it. It turns out we both have turn two armies. Uh, he has the top of the turn, I have the bottom, so my reserves will likely come in behind his. Uh, he got uh, the Cloud Strike formation and a unit of jet bikes in. The jet bikes uh, uh, turbo boosted to sit on an objective right there to score him a point, and he easily destroyed my Wave Serpent with his Dark Reapers. However, um, probably the most annoying thing about the Wraith Knight is honestly not going to be the D weapons, it's going to be its survivability. Uh, he shot 12 fusion guns, uh, 6 pulse lasers, 12 scatter lasers, and 6 uh, shuriken catapults at it, and it only took 2 wounds. Alright, so it's the end of turn 2, uh, this is the bottom of turn 2, and he's up 5 to 3 uh, in the maelstrom. Um, uh, my wave serpent web strikes right in there, it's at the bottom of the screen. Fire dragons disembark, shoot at the squadron. Uh, they're placed so that they can hit all of them and are in melter range of all of them. Uh, I blow one up, I stun another one, uh, the whole squadron jinx. The wave serpent shoots at the dark reapers and kills three of them. It takes uh, shooting from my dire avengers and shooting from my swooping hawks to uh, take out that small unit of bikes there so I can claim that objective because I needed it this time. And uh, in what is just hilarious, uh, my Wraith Knight assaults, uh, I was going to destroy his Autark and his Fire Dragons. He whiffs his attack, manages to kill one or two with Stomp. Uh, they fail the morale check and fall back, and he consolidates over towards that objective as well. Uh, but he, he definitely does not uh, dominate that close combat at all. Um, and that's a look at the rest of it. Oh, and the Dark Eldar came on. It's the uh, top of turn three. Uh, I can't remember the score, what the score is right now. I did pretty well though. I think I'm back on top. Uh, he has another unit of jet bikes come in. Uh, what turns out to be his last wave serpent still doesn't come in. He pushes those up to shoot at me. Uh, fire dragons die. Uh, amazingly, the uh, the Ar Archon, who was uh, split off and by himself, doesn't. The wave serpent uh, goes down though um, from the uh, Dark Reapers again and my Autark is hiding behind it, and then he manages to make uh, four plus invulnerables like nobody's business um, because those snap firing falcons still manage to put a lot of shots into him. Uh, he does another round of shooting at the Wraith Knight and only manages to take off another uh, wound or two. So this is the uh, bottom of turn three. I get another pair of Hornets in. Uh, my Warp Spiders still don't come in. Uh, that's consecutive ones. The Archon makes a, a long charge uh, versus the Reapers and manages to put a wound on the Exarch in a challenge. Um, I wreck another Falcon, uh, the other one jinked, I don't think it was stunned or anything like that. The uh, Swooping Hawks and the Wraith Knight conspire to assault the, um, the Fire Dragon unit. Uh, the Autark I killed with shooting, um, and there's, there's a Fire Dragon alive in that cluster of goofy looking butterfly things. So here we are at the uh, top of turn four. Uh, this is the last turn of the game. We knew that going into it. Uh, there are only two hours and 15 minutes per game, uh, which at 1850 is, uh, is a little tough to wrap it up. Um, he had an objective to get all the way down here. It's objective marker six there, and it's a uh, reroll your ones in the shooting phase. Uh, and his jet bikes um, did not have enough movement to hold that, and they also didn't have enough movement to get into line breaker position. Uh, he's stuck in combat with his fire dragons and his uh, dark reapers. The only other thing he managed to do was to wreck the Hornets. My Warp Spiders come in, uh, they get me Line Breaker, uh, and otherwise I think I took shots at his jet bikes, but I really realized that because of the, um, the objectives that I had for my last turn, I didn't need to do a lot of shooting. 
So, Warp Spiders came in. Um, here in the close combat, the two Dark Reapers on the right are dead. Uh, I, I finally killed the Exarch and got another guy through as well. But uh, I could not hurt that other uh, Fire Dragon over there. So that is how the game ends. And uh, the final score ended up being 16-6 uh, to 6 in my favor, a 10-point favor. So I beat him. I earned 25 out of 30 possible points. And that guy, uh, he continued to make 4-plus invulnerable saves uh, against that Falcon there uh, throughout the game, which was pretty awesome.